definitely showed up on the board against them. Sign of relief, um, just to you know that we're in. Um, it's a good feeling, no we're in for the same time. So, um, that's a blessing. Did you have any anxiety going into it? I did, and I throw a reason to get like, you know, the first part where Duke was. Uh, that's, that's a tough matchup. <laughs> but um, I would be excited to play, but um, it's um, excited to be out for that all. What, if anything, tonight, as you stand here, do you know about Louisville? Uh, I haven't seen much on Louisville. Um, I've watched their game on national television versus Duke when they had the big lead, so uh, that was the only game that I've seen. And pre when you, you guys were, a few of you guys were on that team two years ago, you had a higher seed, fifth seed, and you lost. What did that do for, you said, the next time that you're going to make it here? Uh, it gave us some experience. Um, a lot of guys been on that team you know we have experience, you know, uh, have people you know, that was on the court, so and off the court that can help. And we just, we'll just have to get ready to play some really good players. Did you feel like a, not the bad taste around the, you know, your higher seed and got upset that maybe you could turn, turn the table now as a lower seed? Uh, you never know what happens in March, so uh, we'll, we'll just have to play hard and, and have to go from there. Is there a different mindset for you and the rest of the seniors now that this is it for you? This is your last run. Yeah, this is it. It's one game elimination. You know, we could be done. You know, if, if we lose, so you know, uh, we'll probably have a talk again on the senior round, like just hey, listen, you know, this is the last go round, so we gotta make it count. What advice would you give the freshmen? Because I know you guys rely on a lot of younger players this season on what it's like in in the NCAA tournament. Enjoy, enjoy the experience. Uh, you know, with all the like, fest, uh, festivities or festivities and stuff, but um, you know, when it's time to work, it's time to work, you know? and, and we have to be prepared for everything. That we do. You guys played so well against Purdue, and, and like the opposite of that yesterday. How do you feel about the way you guys are playing and heading into it? Um, there's nothing to hang our heads about. You know, uh, we were really gassed yesterday, and I think it showed. But you know, that's not an excuse. You know, we still can control you know, defense and effort and things like that. But uh, we're playing really good. The boys playing good. Us playing good. Dan's playing good, Ian's playing good, we're playing solid. Uh, and uh, Brock is contributing, Mosh contributing. So, you know, I think as long as we all contribute, you know, we'll shock some people. What's the difference between this trip compared to the last one that you guys went on? In your opinion? Uh, from Big Ten tournament? No, from the last time we went to the NCAA. Um, I mean, we're in a different location, so you know, that, that might count for some of them. Ever been to Des Moines? Never, it's my first time. Coach Patino has his history with Louisville. He coached there, his dad coached there, his dad left there under some difficult circumstances. What does that do to this game for you? Um, we can't we can't make it all about Coach Patino. You know, we, we know he's, we know he's he's been there a long time. His dad been, but we can't make it all about you know uh, the Patino family. You know, this team game. You know, it's, it's going to be really hard for him. You know, of course, we're going to want to get the, the win for him. So, you know, we just got to go to play hard. You've been here four years, so when four years ago. You hear me think about the possibility of playing, the possibility of playing his dad. I mean, all the bells is always moving out there. Nah, I never heard about it, but um, I mean, I mean uh, Big P was there. You know, of course, you would want to play. Him. He's one of the best coaches ever, so uh, you would want to play that little bit. Did he ever? You remember talks that he's had with your uh, team? Uh, of course, he he came every summer. You know, came uh, pointing out some stuff to us, um, especially this year. You know, he's, he's been able to talk to us a lot. Give us advice and, and, um, and help us. What can I talk to you about? Um, just about um, the similarities between his Louisville team and our team. You know, how we have guards that can get out on the break, how we can uh, get steals, things like that. Um, no, never really know offensive things, just all different, defensive things. Last one for you, Did you get a chance to have any tips from him? Uh, yeah, you know, he's showed me some shooting drills and stuff like that that uh, he had Terry over here and um, some some of his other guards do. Feel like it helped a little bit? Yeah, I, I definitely have to you know, be 